Hi YouTube, welcome to our daughter's bedroom. Uh, I've been hesitant to show it because it's not quite finished yet, but for the most part, it's pretty much done. Um, and everything in here cost us about $50. So this is the room. Um, I'll start with the rug. This came from Marshalls and it is the softest thing ever. It is perfect for her to crawl around on because it is just oh so soft and it goes with the gray and white theme that we have. This rocker, my husband uh, reupholstered. Um, so we got this from, <laughs> I think he got it from like an alley or something um, when he was in college and it was brown, the fabric was brown and we got a new fabric from Tuesday morning and he put it on there. So yeah, this rocker has been basically upsold a, a little bit. This is an elephant that I got from Thailand. This all you need is love lamp is from Burlington Coat Factory. And this dresser, he painted. He got it in an alley. He painted. And uh, yeah, now it's in the baby's room. This was on vacation uh, when I was in Israel, when I was in my early 20s. We drew these for the baby. So this one mommy did in January of 2017. And daddy did this one in January of 2017. This crib came from my in-laws. And of course, nothing's going to be in there once the baby starts using the crib. But um, yeah, I've had this for a really long time. So what I'm saying is I haven't bought anything specifically for her with the exception of maybe maybe a, two sleepers. And this came from our baby shower. And this also was a gift from our baby shower. And I think it just goes really well with the theme. So this dresser, he also, my husband, got from the alley and painted it the same color. So all we really ended up paying for was paint and this rug. Um, for the most part, everything in here was either a gift from our registry that we got at the baby shower or was found in an alley and he repurposed. So this is our changing table. I like it because it's got the high lips on it just in case um, she rolls around and it also has a seat belt. Now this, this is a, well, these are crutches that he assembled into a bookcase. Obviously, once she starts crawling around, we won't be um, having these wibbly wobbly shelves anymore. So we'll have something a little bit more sturdy. But right now, she's not crawling around. She's in my stomach. And it looks really cool. And I'll just show you her closet really quickly. And that'll be the end of the tour. So she's got a ton of clothes. Most of them are in her drawers. Like I said, we didn't buy anything. This all came from the registry. Um, so I would definitely encourage you guys to wait to purchase anything until maybe a month after your baby shower because you'll probably get everything that you need. Most of these are from my registry. Um, this is the wrap that I'm going to be putting her in. I've got a little baby bopper thing. Um, a lot of a lot of diapers, a lot of supplies, a lot of toys. Yeah, just everything that we needed. So that's the tour. Hope you like the room. Like I said, you can do it on the cheap, just like we did. Um, we paid for the gray paint and everything else. Oh, and the and the little rug. But for the most part, everything else was a gift from our registry or upcycled from my wonderful husband. Now, I will say, for those of you who are concerned about things that came from the alley, you're probably right. This is not the sturdiest of furniture. So we are probably going to swap it out relatively quickly after she's born. But for right now, this is what we have, and we like it. Oh, and we did pay for this. A little overpriced, I think. I think it was from Home Goods, and her name is going to start with a K. So, 
Yeah. All right. See you next time, YouTube. Bye.